Hello! Are you looking to brush up on foreign language skills or start fresh with a language that's completely new, perhaps in preparation for a trip abroad? Gretchen here from Shaker Library to tell you about Transparent Language Online, a free online language learning program available through the Shaker Library homepage. All you need to access Transparent is your library card and PIN. If your device has a microphone, that's helpful, but not essential. So, let's take a look. From Shaker Library's homepage, we're going to select Resources and Research, and then the letter T for Transparent. We find Transparent in the list and click on it to go to the login page. From here, we enter our library card number, hit Submit, then we'll choose the correct library, hit Submit, Okay, that takes us to the Transparent Language login page. After you've created an account, this is what you will see. Note that you'll need your username and your password to log in each time. But for now, because we haven't created an account yet, we're going to click on the Sign Up tab and go ahead and get an account created. So you'll notice that they want a fair amount of information from us. Remember that only the things with stars are absolutely required. The first thing that's required is an age range. And they want to know three, three things, whether you're 15 years and younger, 16 years and older, or an adult of creating an account for a child. And they do this so that they can customize the content so that um, it's appropriate, age appropriate. So we're going to go ahead and assume 16 years and older for Ima. And we're going to create a username for our user. And you'll want to make a note of this because you will need this information to log in later. Okay, we have a choice about providing name. And I am going to go ahead and put that in and an email address. This is nice to do because you can opt to opt in to receive email reminders to work toward your language learning goals. Now we do need to give a password, so we're going to create something for IMA. Uh, notice that it has to be at least eight characters long, with one lowercase letter, one uppercase letter, and a number. I've already created something in the clipboard, so I'm going to go put that in for her. And we're going to type it in again to confirm. And next we can decide if we would like updates. I'm going to pass on that for now. But we do have to click the box, check the boxes for terms of use and privacy policy. You can view them here at these links. Terms of use has to do with, you know, your intention to obey the law and all that. I'll let you read this at your leisure. Um, I don't see any issues with that. And now privacy policy is a little longer and more complicated. It has to do with information collection. Usage, security, control, sharing, and that's it. Now, I do notice in there that it does say that they will not share your information with third parties without your permission, which is a good thing, but I do encourage you to take the time to read through it carefully. I will go ahead and check that. We will click Create Account. And voila! We are in. Okay, so here we have an alphabetical list of languages we can start learning. Let's say Ima is planning a trip to Costa Rica and wants to learn Spanish. We can click on Spanish and see the options. You'll notice that there are opportunities for English speakers, Brazilian Portuguese speakers, and Turkish speakers. Let's assume Ima is an English speaker, 
And because she's going to Central America, we're going to choose Latin American Spanish. All right, from here we come to the home page. And we see that my, her learning path has already been populated with lessons. It looks like it begins with alphabet and then very simple basic hello, uh, getting around the city, I need help, where are you from, out and about, and pleased to meet you. So it's a good introduction for a beginner who's um, just starting out with a language. But what if you're not a beginner? How can you access more sophisticated content? Up here in the top menu bar, click Browse. And here you can find categories of lessons of all variety. There's major news lessons in an advanced format. There's conversation courses in an intermediate format. There's general vocabulary in an intermediate format. K through 12 general vocabulary intermediate, business vocabulary intermediate and advanced, uh, medical vocabulary intermediate and beginner, and um, Spanish Latin American word of the day intermediate, and survival Spanish for librarians intermediate. So many different options if you're not just a beginner. Let's go back to these conversation courses and choose Intermediate. And here we can kind of see the different options. And what I'm going to do is select um, Conversation Courses Intermediate and Add All to Path. So this will add 23 lessons from Conversation Courses to our Learning Path. And voila, if we go back to learning and scroll down, we will see now that beyond Unit 4 and Unit 5 and Unit 6, we have uh, additional content, including the conversation courses that we just viewed. So let's say we wanted to get started with that, uh, skipping the uh, beginner stuff. We can start here with this. We just click Learn. And it's going to show you a little bit how to navigate. Read the objectives here, and then start learning here. And we click anywhere to continue, and start learning. And we get a video we can watch. And you probably can't hear this, but uh, these folks are speaking Spanish to each other. And it's teaching you a little bit how to navigate a situation. If we don't want to work with that right now, we can just click this back arrow to get back to the learning path and see the content here. Uh, we were down here somewhere. Yep, right there. And if we click on the ellipse, it shows us a little bit about it. We can remove it from the path. We can look at new vocabulary. We can mark it as learned and even get a shareable link. Let's try new vocab. So it's going to show you a little bit about what you learn to say and what it means in English. To get out of this, we just click on the X, and here we are back at the lesson queue. Say we already know all this information, we don't need it, we can remove it from the path by clicking here, and it's gone. If we change our mind, we can undo it, but I think we'll just leave it the way it is. And again, it allows you to um, shape your queue any way you like. All right, so before we wrap up, I want to show you a few more things. Under your username up here, you can view your profile. And here you have your account options, the information we entered when we set up the account, 
Um, you can create a new password here. You have information about getting a mobile app going on your phone. And you have your notification settings. I'm going to go ahead here and select for email just this daily goal and streaks. And I'm going to explain that in just a minute. Um, before I do, I do want you to take note that there is a forget me option. If you click this, you can um, terminate your account. So I'm not going to do that today, but you can if you ever want to. Um, so we're going to do do not forget, but I just wanted you to know it was there. And then to get back to our home page again, you just click the learning tab up here. And I want to show you about goals. If we click this ellipse here, we can uh, create daily learning goals. And let's say we just want to practice our Latin American Spanish for 15 minutes a day. We select that, and we can select any time we like. We can even customize it. Say we want 20 minutes. Let's do that. Set goal. And um, we should have it done. So we should get an email message every day reminding us. Um, to practice and indeed uh, language learning does work best if you do a little bit every day and who doesn't need help remembering so it's nice that they have that as an option. Um, finally I want to show you the Go Mobile here if you have your phone handy and you just take a picture of the QR code um, you should be able to get going right away on your phone. So I hope this gives you a basic idea of how to set up an account with Transparent Language Online and get started learning a new language, both as a beginner and as an intermediate speaker. If you have questions about Transparent, please don't hesitate to call us at Chigger Library at 216-991-2030, or you can email us at librarian at shakerlibrary.org. Thanks for listening, and happy language learning!